and today I'm going to look at decimal numbers. In this video we're going to look at understanding tenths. We're going to use tens frames, a place value grid and counters to help. You may have used tens frames before for whole numbers. With whole numbers a tens frame is worth ten and each box on the tens frame is worth one. To help us understand tenths our tens frame is now worth one whole and each section of the tens frame is worth one tenth or 0 0.1. This is because if the tens frame is worth one then each of it, the ten sections must be worth one tenth of one whole. We're going to start by looking at numbers less than a whole then we're going to look at numbers over a whole. The first number we'll look at is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 means 6 tenths of our tens frame is filled. So I'm going to put 6 counters onto my tens frame. So here I am showing 6 tenths of the tens frame or 0 0.6. I can also show this on a place value grid. Here, my grid is split into hundreds, tens, ones, tenths and hundredths. For 0 0.6, we have nothing in the hundreds, tens and ones column and six tenths in the tenths column. So I need to put in six tenths counters in the tenths column. So here we can see we have no ones, a decimal point and six tenths. We can also use tens frames and a place value grid to do decimal numbers above one. We're going to start by using tens frames to represent 2.7. Because we have two in the ones column we need two whole tens frames and as we have seven tenths we need to use a third tens frame. I need to use counters to fill two whole tens frames to represent two and 7 tenths of the third tenths frame to represent 0.7. So here we can see we have 2 holes and 7 tenths or 2.7. We can also show this on a place value grid. We have two holes, so we need two counters in the ones column. We then need seven tenths counters in the tenths column. So here we have two holes, a decimal point and seven tenths. Why don't you try representing different numbers using tens frames and place value grids? I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!